hello and welcome back to my channel Vishal VFX so the, uh, in this video we're going to learn how to uh, we can set up the render layers for our fire for our com you yeah, so you might have seen the previous output is in the sorry the, this output in the previous video so let us just proceed the first thing we need to get uh, rid of is that we need to just check uh, the alpha and uh, you see in alpha we have the image plane this this plane so we'll go in we'll go and select our camera like this and uh, like we just pop, we're gonna pop up over here we're just gonna change it to none like this we'll change it to none and uh, yeah, once again we're gonna hit the render let us just skip this and hit a render so you see that uh, we don't have any image right now let us uh, just get this get complete meanwhile so what we are supposed to do uh, like in the previous uh, Maya you might have seen that we used to go over here come on if it can show me that that would be much better no there would be a layer setup over here so we used to do a separate separate layer setup uh, and we used to add things over there uh, over there and it, it was time consuming slightly so Arnold did a really fantastic job in creating the render layer separately so that we can have a render layer created uh, quickly so I'll just go over here let this get complete so that we can compare it later on so what we need to do is we need to take our car separately we need a car separately and we need our shadow separately and we need an ambient occlusion for our contact shadow separately so that we can just work later on uh, and we can tweak we have much more of better control in our comp so come on come on come on buddy just get complete quickly So you see we have the shadow and uh, uh, car in the same output so we need to separate them so we'll create a render layer by clicking over here we have a render layer we'll just say this as a car duty and we'll create a collision collection sorry and uh, we'll add uh, our car over here in this and our shadow plane over here we'll go for the shadow we'll add a car project plane over here and our car inside this in the collection one i'll just name it as car collection car collect okay we'll name it at this and we'll create another collection which would be for our shadow shadow plane And uh, by mistake, I just put it the wrong uh, uh, naming convention in my previous video. You might have seen. So just uh, change it. Like I, uh, I named this as a shadow and this as a project plane. Uh, you can change it. So now you see that we have it. So I'll just add a shadow, shadow plane over here. And uh, now we are in this scene, which is the master scene of, uh, which is the default scene of the render view. And we're just gonna change it to this scene, so that uh, we are now in over here. And we go in shadow plane we select shadow plane we go in render thread and we'll take this primary by middle click and drag it on drop over here so that we can turn this off so you see that once i click turn off you see that there is a, a change that happened and uh, let us just uh, keep this and uh, you see alpha like this we'll just hit uh, another render so now what will happen is it's just gonna uh, render those things separately my car separately without affecting anything Come on, come on. So 
so let us just compare if there is any changes happening no there is nothing happening let us just check in alpha now you see that we have a car separately which we want and we are happy for this layer so we'll create another layer which would be i'll just name this as a shadow and uh, we'll select this now and we'll create a collection which would be similarly we just gonna add like this uh, let let us just have this on top the shadow shadow plane that's what i'm gonna name it now and i'll i'll create another collection which would be a car car collection okay so in car collection i'm gonna add mustang and project plane so what we will do we'll go in uh, we'll select uh, one of this plane and we'll go in over here and in render set i'm just drag and drop this so we'll just turn this off so now what will happen we'll just have a separate layer for our shadow let us just wait and see we don't need to hide any project plane because it was already hidden i think so so there is no need to change anything to it did that we just needed to have it on car so we did that and uh, let us just wait and look okay so we are not rendering anything why is it so because we don't have any shadow plane we just need to add a shadow plane yeah we have added it now and let us just render once again come on literally the render time sucks a lot So now you can see we have shadow separately and uh, which is really good so we can use them as later on the way we want so I'll just keep this and uh, we're just gonna render this one once again so now we have like just for check in alpha I didn't save that one so you can see that we have them separately this is the previous which we separated them both of the car and this without affecting anything so now same thing needs to be done for the shadow sorry uh, the AOV the same shadow thing needs to be done for the AOV we'll just go and create another layer and just name this an AO sorry AOV not ambient occlusion AO which is this and we will go and create collection which could be called as shadow AO plane. I'll just name this as a AO plane, and uh, let's do for a foot. Add this. Create collection, and we're just gonna switch to this and uh, car collection, and let us just add a car project plane over here. So we have the both of them over here. So what we'll do is uh, same thing we need to do. We'll just go and select one of these and we'll take this primary attribute over here and tell this not to be visible so that we have uh, our ambient occlusion but 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 so we have done this and we need to set a material for this so we'll just go and uh, apply a shader which would be which would be ambient occlusion so let's go in shader ai ambient occlusion as i arnold uh, has itself his ambient occlusion render so let us I have added the shader over here so this is primary visibility let us just hit the render so now you see we have the ambient occlusion ready so the render is done and uh, we are good to go for our uh, patch render so before that we need to select all three of this okay 
and uh, we just need to deselect this so this is a master scene i just don't want this to get rendered so we'll go and set things up which will be like which you need to change it to uh, this is, would be the default change to each of them and uh, let's just, just add one uh, sd and uh, where is it we need to change it to camera mustang ca camera maintain width and height and uh, what can i do is not single frame frame dot extension dot so that i have much more of a layer and uh, okay the start frame should be one and the end frame should be 160 so this is almost done so we need to create the prefix for this so what we'll do is create absolute uh, override for the visible layer so this is what we need to add we can just name something car sorry uh, car beauty so that uh, we get uh, this over here as a car beauty uh, this render car beauty mustang so this is the prefix for this one so we'll do similarly for uh, all of them we'll just go over here create our red visible layer image prefix shadow mustang so this is now named as a shadow and we'll go for this which would you see that the default uh, naming convention so i'll just go and create and this will be named as ambient occlusion mustang so i have uh, everything done set so we need to do the last thing which is what are the renders do we need the AOVs do we need for our comp so these are the multiple AOVs that uh, we can use so let us just add ID RGBA as much as we can albedo uh, do we have code I don't think so we have code uh, we have changed any AI flex or something no I will have everything from diffuse even from uh, direct emission motion vector do we need that motion vector Mm, no but definitely we can take it uh, that's not a burden to us we have a shadow mat and we have a sheen we have specular as well and we have transmission and multiple layer like this so we have crypto mat crypto object shadow shadow volume albedo and transmission everything from transmission i didn't have any uh triple s and what is this I, I think I don't know this so I'll just have it's uh, so this much uh, this much passes are good so we have added this much passes one last thing that I think so we need to do is which is select driver and we need to merge the AOVs so that each and every AOVs get merged so what will I do is now is uh, I'm just gonna deselect both of them or uh, let, let us just uh, do that and uh, the, the thing is that uh, the render layers will uh, is similar for everything this AOV uh, it's not different for the shadow and AOV so the, the shadow, even the shadow and AOV have, will have this multiple thing but definitely they won't have any value so there is nothing to worry about that renders so let us everything is set and uh, good to go in our case so let us just go in uh, save this file that's what I always do I'm just gonna version this up in case something went wrong I don't trust Maya for that and rendering uh, did I change to a HD yes this is to hd 111 perfect zip naming convention is okay every mustang is okay this is cool and uh, let us just hit the batch render oh definitely this will take a hell lot of a time for me for my system to render things out i hope so 
and uh, then later on we're gonna do the composite stuff which is really good and uh, i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video of the car mustang car and uh, please guys please i do need to tell you this every time and i want to tell you this i'm just uh, please do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon thank you guys